There is a scene in Huckleberry Finn, which is one of the greatest scenes in all of literature, and it exists nowhere before American literature. Uh, and when we say that all of American fiction comes out of Huckleberry Finn, it's this scene I think we're talking about. Huck realizes that the slave Jim, that he has done a terrible, terrible, sinful thing by helping the slave Jim escape, and he's going to hell. And he realizes this is, you know, he's got to do something about this. And he tries to pray, but he's so full of guilt at the evil thing that he's done by helping Jim escape that he can't pray. He can't lift his mind to God because he's so saddled by guilt. So he hits upon an idea, which is that he's going to write a letter to Jim's owner telling her where he is. He's going to give Jim up, and that will free his conscience. And he writes the letter, and he feels terrific. He, he doesn't send it. He just keeps it. And he's about to send it, and he feels great. And I'm just going to read you the scene. If I could, sometimes I can't get through the scene. I find it so incredibly moving. But it, it, he says, I felt good and all washed clean of sin for the first time I had ever felt so in my life, and I knowed I could pray now. But I didn't do it straight off, but laid the paper down and sat there thinking, thinking how good it was all this happened so and how near I come to being lost and going to hell. And went on thinking, and got to thinking over our trip down the river, and I see Jim before me all the time, in the day and in the nighttime, sometimes moonlight, sometimes storms, and we are floating along, talking and singing and laughing. But somehow I couldn't seem to strike no places to harden me against him, but only the other kind. I see him standing my watch on top of his and instead of calling me so I could go on sleeping and see him how glad he was when I come back out of the fog and when I come to him again in the swamp up there and where the feud was and such like times. And he goes on thinking all these things about Jim and finally he turns back to this letter he's written and he says, I took it up and held it in my hand. I was a trembling because I'd got to decide forever betwixt two things and I note it. I studied a minute, sort of holding my breath, and then says to myself, all right then, I'll go to hell, and tore it up. <laughs>